Hello everybody, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to, oh it's not my war room anymore, we are deep in the heart of Oklahoma. In, a, in an <laughs> undisclosed location just outside of Oklahoma City, I am at the home of Volatility King, or as many of you know him, VK Cowboy. So we are going to play some Global 40 today. I'm on my way to Tulsa, and I thought I'd stop in here, see my friend uh, VK Cowboy. We are going to play some Global 40. Uh, due to some really interesting math and everything and and picking the right hand <laughs> he's going to play the allies and I'm going to play the axis and uh, he's a good player he's a really good player so this is going to be a hell of a test for me uh, I expect him to win this game although I do get to play the axis and so good for me yeah I'm the bad guy woohoo anyway so he's probably going to kick my ass but uh, that's okay uh, I, I, I enjoy playing against uh, better players than me because that's how you learn, right? And I'm hoping to get him behind the camera to share his thoughts on the game as well at some point during the day. Maybe maybe we can both do this video and that'll be good because uh, then you can learn something from him too. That'd be cool. You want to do this? You yeah, we'll, do de that? we'll definitely do that. This is going to be a lot of fun. I appreciate you making the stop. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try to get under his get, skin. Get right his away. gigs in quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I expect this to be a, hopefully be a close game. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, you know, like I'll just tell you, that, like we're probably going to end up in a fist fight out in his backyard there, <laughs> out, out by the out by the old K corral there, and uh, I, I can see his wife coming out and grabbing us each by an earlobe and dragging us in the house and say, "You boys play nice now." I'm going to dunk you in the cow thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time for us to grow up. <laughs> What's up with that? Anyway, w one thing's for sure though, this is going to be more fun than most people are even allowed to have on a Wednesday. So why don't you join us today and watch us fuck some shit up? Uh, take a train. Okay, so the swearing has begun in earnest here at the OK Corral. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> no, nobody's nobody's swinging or anything yet. But <laughs> I'm going to move this one, two, uh, three. So Germany, Germany on their first turn, uh, they were pretty successful. They they managed to take Paris out and everything, and uh, I think they only lost one mech and one artillery, as, uh, uh, except for the dudes. Germany did not lose any planes in, uh, in on their turn. So what they did was they flew two planes down to southern Europe there, and they did a full scramble in Toronto. And uh, you can see what's left there. It's just uh, it's just uh, an aircraft carrier, a damaged aircraft carrier for the British because they had two fighters on that aircraft carrier, and, and the Italians rolled like Italians usually do, like a bunch of fucking idiots. And so um, they lost their they lost when they were going against the boats down there, the French boats. Uh, but uh, they they did manage to take the two fighters off and and uh, and damage that thing. But Germany, their their turn was pretty normal. Like they they did uh, they were trying to do this ping pong move here in Yugoslavia, but that didn't work because they took it out on the first shot. But that's okay. It's it's not going to harm them or anything. Um, the Toronto raid was successful, although both sides uh, hit in the first round big time. I think. Uh, uh, VK hit me five times and I hit him four times in the first round. So it was pretty much over after the first round. Like I think we, we did the rolling and it, it finished off in the second round. Um, but that was Germany. So who was next? Russia. Well, Russia didn't do anything, of course. They just moved all their shit around, as, as you would expect, because Germany didn't declare war on them. Uh, with the stuff in the east, that's what they did over here, was they just moved them back one. And um, what did the Russians buy? Bunch of shit? Yep, they bought uh, three or four artillery, three dudes, and uh, a tank. So a bunch of shit. Bunch of shit. Not yeah. enough shit. Okay, so, and the Japanese, they bought a couple of transports, and they put a factory down here in, uh, in uh, Shanghai. They did pretty good. They they took out uh, Yunnan, no problems. Uh, Yunnan, but they only had one uh, artillery left, so... The uh, Chinese came back and kicked them in the nuts with, with work boots on it. And as you know, that probably hurts more than anything. So they've, they've got quite a bit of stuff on Yunnan there. Uh, but that's really it, though, uh, um, because that's all uh, Japan was after was the Chinese. So, of course, they're winning that battle there. Uh, I don't think the Japanese have lost anything except for those ground units and then one dude over here. And then who? The Americans. The Americans, uh, they bought like 16 things to go on over here until they remembered <laughs> that he only had a minor factory. So, But anyway, he's obviously going uh, Japan first over here. Either that or he's fucking with me. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. 
He does look a little shifty. His eyes are a little close together. And then over here, you can see what they got over here. And then, so America hasn't entered the war yet. Oh, and he did move his two boats. He moved them off of the Philippines. You can see there's a, a sub down here. We're going to fly and all three then, fighters uh, over here. Over there. I'm going to let you come hither this. Okay. You, you may smash that, please. I'm going to hither it. I'm going to bend that right over and hither it. Good. Bring okay. the U.S. in, baby. You bring it in. And then as far as the Brits go, they didn't do anything over here, but uh, they went all in on Ethiopia there. The Ethiopians did not stand a chance. And uh, <laughs> That's a fair statement. And they did the Taranto raid, as, as, of course. Um, but they don't have any of the Middle East except for the free place over there. Uh, they didn't do anything down in Africa except for Ethiopia. So the British were pretty conservative. They did have to contend with the damaged battleship over here. And they also were able to kill off um, uh, um, tactical? a tactical bomber there. There was a tactical bomber and uh, an anti-aircraft gun in Holland, Belgium. So they went after that. Uh, I think they lost a destroyer. And did you lose And a fighter. And a fighter, yeah. Lost a destroyer and a fighter because... over it. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, da, 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 da. And, and so now we're doing Anzac in France. So Anzac. But you came back and here. wiped my navy out there, so you did well. Yeah. Anzac, they're, they're, they're just moving everybody out. Anzac over there. is like, come on in. Yeah. Anzac is, uh, they, they got the come hither look in their eyes. So what, what's France doing? Everybody wants to know what's France going to do? They do like France usually does bend over and smile. Show me a new hat. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at this. Compl yeah. Was it here? Compliments of uh, General Hand Grenade right here. I'm Canadianized now. War, war Party be happy, or War Torn be happy about that too. Grasshopper be happy about that. Hilltop be happy about that. Boy, that's a big French continued. Grancha be happy about that. So, all right. So I've recruited him. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Oklahoma's part of Canada now. Did yeah. you know Montana is voting to be part of Canada? Or they, they've got a, a petition. Oh, we can't believe it either. We, what Why? The fuck? We're wondering what the fuck they're smoking down there. I don't know. They just that makes no they, sense. They got a petition down there. They're, they want to be part of Canada. We can, it's just it's the weirdest thing. It came out last week. Huh. Nope, they're not. All right, so I left my two boats there. I shit you not. I shit you not. It's never going to happen, but, you know, whatever. No. Oh, and then threw the three planes up there for you. We were hoping they'd take Alberta with them. <laughs> Go be their own country. Get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So you mean <laughs> All right, and then that's it. So I just collect uh, fourteen dollars. Everybody wants to know what are the French gonna do though. The French is coming. Okay. With uh, I'm gonna buy. Oh, damn it. Oh, I took your money. Yeah, you did. Oh, did you tell about how nasty that oh, battle was? Oh yeah, I lost You'll that. You'll have to that do that. Yeah, are we that. still on? Yeah, we're still on. All right, so this battle was ugly, ugly. I felt bad for this. He, it, went, it went 17 rounds. It was furious. It was pretty bad, and he lost both his ships. I didn't lose anything, so this gets pretty bad. Oh, you, I felt bad for him. I can't you know, get that one, yeah. I so. didn't want him to quit. <laughs> uh, but I can't use that naval base anymore, so... You can convoy me there, though. I can. Oh, we actually, we're supposed to do that before... Uh, oh, right, before yeah. I collect it. Oops. Gonna need some regular days. Yep. Oh, he doesn't have any regular days. Well, I guess we'll catch you next time then. <laughs> Bastard's got some dice in another room. <laughs> <laughs> Two ships. Three ducks. Oh, that's the maximum. Yeah, three bucks. So, right. yeah, I lose three bucks. Okay. Good. So now, I know what are those ships gonna do? Uh, they're on that side. So, one ship is going to go kill this transport. Oh, actually, can I do that with the plane? All right, so I'll kill it with the destroyer. What did you kill? The transport that was oh, there. Oh, you bastard. Uh, this cruiser's going to go out that here. That transport had a wife and kids, you know. <laughs> Shit. If, I, if you'd have told me that before, I might have done something a little different then. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and move this over to Morocco. Uh-oh. Shit's happening. Um, let's put... This up here in 81. We're doing this French turn live from Oklahoma. Let's move that to Transjordan. This is to make or break the game. Um, what can I do with that fighter? Can I kill shit? I could. You know what I do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd fly it over here to try to kill these guys. Go for it. 
You never know. I mean, if it works, everybody will be. If, will, yeah, if I kill will, that, how many songs three pound, uh, three plane scramble and the destroyer and the cruiser? Yeah, that's good you, odds. You will go to Stovall Corps if you win that fight. Ah, oh, I would like to kill some other shit though. Um, one, two, three. Can't get All right, back so to you see what's going on here. That's it, and uh, we'll come back after round two. And we're back at the OK Corral. So we're in turn three, although I have taken Germany's turn. So lots happened this turn, a few declarations of war and stuff. Germany had uh, attacked Bessarabia on the last turn. So uh, that was a continuation here. Germany took out the, uh, the Russian boats here. And then I've gone back and taken out Bessarabia and Eastern Poland. But that's about as far as I've gotten so far. And uh, the, the Italians were just a bunch of fucking retards, so they couldn't take out this place. So the Germans had to go and save their asses over there and took out Normandy for them. Um, and then Russia, uh, in the last turn, they just did a lot more building up. Like they took up Bessarabia and only left two dudes on there. He wants to get the first shot uh, at taking good units off. So, so uh, he, he's going to... See what he can do about taking off everything I got there, I think. Uh, we'll see. And then, what happened? The Russians. Oh, yeah, the Russians have just left these guys over here. They haven't moved all game. They, he moved them there on the first turn, and then they haven't moved. The Japanese are staring down 100,000 American boats. You see all the Americans. He put a complex up there in Alaska on the second turn. And he's got American boats everywhere. He's not doing much at all in the Atlantic. Everything's going to over to the Pacific side. But he's got single boats everywhere, right? So that's going to pose quite a problem for me. And uh, then the, the Japanese went. But before I tell you about the Japanese, I'll just tell you that the British have declared war on the Japanese. And so uh, he took the, the British into Yunnan, as you see there. Yunnan had a whole bunch of stuff stacked up on it, but I had about 148 planes that I took in there and, and took them out on the first round um, and was still able to take Yunnan. He got, he got me three times, which left a tank on there. So the British went in and mopped that tank up. And uh, yeah, the, they're doing okay now. Like the, you can see Anzac has moved their fighters onto the mainland there. And he's gonna, He's going to try using both of them against me. With, with the American fleet being over there, that's going to make it tough. I think uh, I think the real telling part is going to be on the eastern front over there. Between here, I'll give you a different look at it here. Between the British and the, or sorry, the the Russians and the Germans, we'll see what happens there. Because if the Germans can't break through, then then the Axis will be sunk, of course, because. America's going all in um, on the on the Pacific side, so the the Jap or the Germans have to take Moscow. There's no way. I th I don't think that the Axis can win the game, unless uh, unless uh, the Japanese roll lights out against the Americans because they're not going to be able to match them, and you know, they're not even collecting the big money yet. Um, but because uh, the they've also got to fight the Chinese and the British, the the uh, Japanese aren't going to have enough money to take on the Americans. Um, down here, nothing's really happening too much. He's just mopping up Sub-Saharan Africa down here. Um, and uh, the Italians, uh, probably a good thing they're not going after Egypt because they can't roll or shit in this game. So they, uh, they're, they've they basically, the, the guys in Tobruk haven't moved yet. Uh, these guys went over because they didn't have to take anybody. They did take out Gibraltar there. So that was uh, that they got uh, an extra national objective for that. Uh, plus, uh, there was no boats in the Mediterranean, but there is one French destroyer now. So I'm going to have to go get that one to get that uh, national object objective back. That didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, probably not the way I'm rolling for the Italians. It's funny, you know, I can roll for the Germans, I can roll for the Japanese, but the Italians is just like, ooh, 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 ooh. It's like they ate too much spaghetti or something. So you can see the Americans, that's all they've done on this side of the board. Uh, they've taken more stuff off this side of the board than they put on it, I think. Or maybe it's about even, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, they're definitely going all in. Did you want to talk about what you're doing over here so, I, so I'll know? Yeah. <laughs> tell everybody, tell everybody what your grand American strategy is. There is no grand American strategy. All we're doing is just trying to piss him off and confuse him. Which doesn't matter. He's a, he's a master. It, can't, it doesn't work. 
Uh, but it is fun just to watch him look at me and go, what the hell are you doing, you damn Yankee South idiot? So that part's fun. Uh, we're just trying to uh, spread it out so that uh, we can hit from about 18 different angles at this point. Me, I'm just about ready to go back to Tulsa. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> having a blast, though. Having a blast. Yeah, we're having fun. We're about to have a snack here. and Got up late today. I, I traveled. I, I was out of bed at 3.30 in the morning, and I got in here at like midnight last night, so... I was a bit tired, so we got a bit of a late start here, and uh, but still, we're playing fast though. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm awake now. I'm awake. I'm just uh, flurry to the solar plexus is next. I'm sure of it. Uh, the Germans already taken their turn, so let's see what the Russians to do can do. The dirty bastards. The only thing we are doing is okay. So I'm totally full of, of uh, taco chips now, and probably can't be stopped. The Americans have declared war on the Japanese. That was probably their first mistake. The Japanese. <laughs> They were going to come down on them with furious anger. <laughs> Start quoting the Bible on them. Just like Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Either that or I'm going to lose. I can't, I can't decide which. So, yeah, the British came over there. And they tried to attack me <coughs> from Egypt. And then I smacked them. They turned around and destroyed me. Yeah, but that that's... Uh, he still, he still went in the Battle of the Med there, as you can see. He just put a carrier down there. He's got a complex on Cairo. Uh, the Italians seem pretty secure right now, but uh, that's uh, if he puts a few transports in there, then then I'm done like dinner. And the Americans can start moving across now, although I don't think they're ready over there yet. They're going to need a, little, a few more helpers. Um, and it's just about time, like these guys have started, got to start pushing into Russia. Um, the Russians push back. Like when you were here last time, there was a shit ton of stuff on here. So we had the big battles. We had uh, the Germans went in and the, and the Russians came back. And so you see what's left over there now. We needed to get that first one out of the way. I think it was about even. Um, I think he took off 19 of my things down here. I took off 16. And then he diced me here. I think I only got one thing off up here. Uh, so that was good for him up there. If it hadn't been for that, then I think that it would be... Uh, a lot easier for the Germans here, but it's not going to be so easy now because he diced me there. Over here, um, the Germans have got a whole bunch of guys up here playing, 11, yeah. playing kitty by the door over here, right? So they can move in okay. when they want to. The Russians have decided to start moving towards uh, back towards the Japanese over here so they can attack this turn. I think they might go for Korea just so the Americans can come over and sit there and uh, and have a landing spot for their planes when I when I smash into their carriers with my uh, with my submarines and my and my kamikazes. Let's see if that's what he's doing, the sneaky little bastard. And um, yeah, the fight's just you know, like people. I don't think Yunnan has stayed in anybody's hands for more than one turn. Is uh, Chinese? But no, the, it's Japanese. No, it's Chinese. No, it's Japanese. No, it's British. No, it's Japanese. No, but the it's... Japanese are absolutely destroying the Chinese. Yeah. Well. That's supposed to happen. <laughs> but we don't want that to happen, but they are destroying them. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> uh, and then when the Americans come across, and uh, that'll be it for the Japanese. I'm, I'm a little worried that the Germans haven't made any headroom yet, but uh, they needed to get that first battle over with where where they uh, where they got a lot of uh, the units off the border because there was just way too many Russian units in there. Um, I hoped to take more than six or 17 of them off, but I didn't. So we're uh, we're gonna have a tough go in there, but anyway, um, what's, what else is going on? What am I missing here? Anzac, oh yeah, Anzac. They're pretty excitable. What did you buy for them anyway? I bought a uh, sub, a destroyer, and a big bomber, tactical or strategic bomber. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm done for now. Um, Japan started attacking the Money Islands down there too, but I don't think they're gonna get all four of them uh because they just can't they've got to they've got to go get the philippines as well otherwise the americans are going to keep collecting that five dollar bonus of uh, theirs um not much else going on there's no more units down there in sub-saharan africa they've all moved up here he finally went over and took out iraq so he's got the whole middle east now um i, th I thought he was going to take out mongolia here you know, because they do a, a slow-moving neutral crush so that he could do that, and then I would just go down to Turkey and take that, and, and that would have been pretty sweet. And then I could have taken Spain, and then I could have taken Sweden. But no, he, he was just teasing me. He didn't want to attack Mongolia. It's all about the tease. 
So anyway, that's uh, what is it? Turn three. We're going. We're going to turn four. Yeah, we're going to turn four. Yep. Here at an undisclosed location, deep in the heart of Oklahoma. So we are going to turn five, and uh, we were out on the icy roads, and I can't believe it either. I got out of the great night white north to get out of the ice and came down here sliding around the roads. It's like a goofball. <laughs> anyway, so um, Germany is turn five now. Uh, Germany, um, they finally took, or they're about to take Ukraine. They finally forced ba Russia back, so there's only one guy in Ukraine. So uh, Germany's already made their combat moves, and, and they're going to take Ukraine. I don't know if they're going to hold it, but they're, th this will be the first time that they've made it that far, which uh, is a bit disappointing. The Allies have got the med secure now. Uh, so, like, uh, Italy is really going to be on the defensive. You see the, these cocksuckers down here? Yeah, those ones. Those, those, those guys killed the Italian Air Force. The Italian Air Force, they were just like they were chucking rocks at each other. So having a snowball fight in the desert. They couldn't hit anything. So that was pretty funny. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of weird that there's still, what was there, three, four, five, six, seven Italian units still in North Africa. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's uh, like it, it, both of us have been kind of inept in North Africa there. Like nobody's been really wanting to take charge. But it looks like he's going to get it now because he's got those over there. He's got the American fleet. He's brought some guys over there. France, I don't know what they got on the transports for. Is moral support or something? Maybe they're going to cook him a nice dinner with lots of butter in it. I'm not sure. But uh, they're, they're there. They're, they're going to represent. Uh, the Italians are turtling. They're, they're just putting on as many ground units as they can now. And we move down to this side of the board, and uh, the Russians took uh, Korea so bad that there was no way that I could take it back. Um, they're just, uh, it just wasn't in the cards. I didn't have enough transports. Um, I think I had enough ground units, but not enough transports, and all my planes were down in the south and they couldn't reach. So instead of doing that, what I did was I, I beat the shit out of his navy over here. Like he had all these things, there was one, 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 one. I, I took them all out. <laughs> And I didn't lose a thing. It was pretty funny, actually. It was not funny at all. Oh, I was, I was, I was pissing myself. <laughs> but anyway, like, and then he came back and took all the singles that I had sitting out here. Like, I came out, I'd have a destroyer in a plane or a, a sub in a plane, and then I took all his uh, his uh, um, single units off. But then he came back and took me. So uh, anyway, what that did was it it uh, got Japan at least an extra turn before the Americans could get near them because the Americans are making more money than them. Actually, it's pretty close to the same, but the problem is, of course, that Japan has also got to fight the British, right? And Anzac, and Anzac's pretty strong because they haven't done dick the whole game, except for take an island. Woo, you guys are tough. <laughs> it took an island that got drunk. But you look at their Navy, like they got all kinds of boats down here. They're just not willing to engage. The Americans are getting ready to kick them in the ass, but. Anyway, so the Americans still got tons of stuff down here. And uh, like I said, Japan probably staved them off for a turn. It looks like they might be able to hold Yunnan finally. Um, this might be the first turn that it doesn't change hands because you look at the shit they got on there uh, and Anzac just dropped three fighters on there. So I've only got, what, three tanks that can reach it? Yeah. For ground units and then the rest I'd have to start losing my Air Force. So. I'm going to have to take a good long look at that before I decide that I, I've, I've got no more use for an Air Force in the Pacific. <laughs> that, that, that'd that be a hard pill, pill to swallow, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might just let the Chinese back into the game here. Anyway, uh, what do you got to say for yourself, Mr. I can't roll a goddamn thing? <laughs> Uh, it's a great, but it's a great seesaw back and forth. Uh, both of us get a good roll. Both of us get a shit roll. It is a uh, very good uh, strategy. Uh, he's uh, he's entrenching into my territories now, so we are going to have to start pushing back. Uh, but it's it's getting to the good part now, so it's all all looking good. If it doesn't change, then he's going to start smoking meth. He's already, <laughs> he's already decided. <laughs> it's a good thing you brought it down with you. Yeah. So I don't have to go find it out on these roads. Yeah. I got it in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're basically midway through the fifth round, and we have called the game. It was a uh, good battle back and forth. Uh, Axis win, Axis win. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, but it was a valiant effort. It was a valiant effort. 
Uh, United Kingdom was able to finally go ahead and put it into a scenario where it was a no-win situation. So we had too much fun. We didn't want to stay up any longer. Now we can just shoot the shit and have some more dessert. Uh, United Kingdom absolutely controls the Med. Unfortunately, Italy was never going to be able to get back in there. Germany couldn't afford to help them at all. Uh, because they had to fight with the front line on the east, and Russia was just uh, able to hold them off further back than uh, Ru uh, Germany wanted to be. Just could not ping-pong through it. Uh, as you can see, uh, Ger uh, Russia actually took Ukraine back, and uh, Germany, there. Germany has no chance to get it back because they don't even have anybody in Bessarabia. The only thing they can bring into it is uh, two tanks and four planes. Because the rest of their planes over here in Germany have been eliminated. Uh, the United States came in and killed everything here in Western Germany. Uh, this is open for France to step either into Denmark, Western Germany. Uh, granted, Italy can go up and stop one of those. Um, United Kingdom now is at the point where they have four planes, two transports, and so they're just going to be dumping onto the West. Uh, once again, Germany can't afford to do this side and defend this side, so it's a bad thing right there. Uh, United States still bringing more transports and bombers over, so it was going to get pretty bad. There were two remaining Italians here. They would have lasted one more round, uh, and now the United Kingdom is also up into the, uh, whatever you call that, the Yugoslav Greece area, so it's looking bad there. Um, unfortunately, Japan did not have, they had a fantastic turn four. They had a not so fantastic turn five. They did move into Russia, so they have put a, uh, a dent into there. Uh, fortunately, Russia can handle that fairly easily, but it's still something that they were going to have to deal with. Outside of that, even though they have taken all of Japan, uh, China, you can see all they have left on the mainland is three tanks here and three tanks here. They're down to their last four planes now. Uh, so Russia or uh, United Kingdom and, or Anzac both decided to start trading planes because through the first four rounds, Japan had only lost one plane. It was fantastic. He was he was hitting everything he was aiming at, playing it very well, keeping them out of my reach. Uh, until the point where I, I got him to enough points where he had to kind of start ch making the decision to sacrifice him. Uh, he did get some unfortunate rolls. Um, I lost eight of them that last turn. And then and then he left two bombers uh, unprotected, and I came in and killed those, and that kind of that kind of finalized it off. Uh, he did hit me pretty good though. He hit uh, my his tank hit uh, four times in a row on me. That was good. But you're looking at all that's left of Japan right here in the Pacific. Everything else has been removed. Uh, then we come over here attacking Tokyo on the outskirts. You have United States just sitting right in their face. Uh, I could have lasted there for like three or four turns maybe. But it wasn't. It wasn't going to matter though. Yeah, it, it's a money thing. I it, couldn't. Have, I couldn't have come back and won the game. Right, and uh, he did. They did try to take on Korea, and luckily, I uh, as you know, Russia has two AA guns there. They hit two of the six, so that was pretty lucky. And then his first round, uh, his rolling, he, it was not good, and that allowed it to uh, be a scenario where Russia was able to hang on. Yeah, I think you hit 10 on the first round, and I hit 4, something like that. I I hit 6. I hit 6, and then out of the 15. Oh, okay. Uh, and But then the two AA guns made it yeah. eight, 8 total. And then so, the third round again, same thing. Yeah, and the third round was not bad. So he lost all his infantry, and actually, unfortunately, lost a couple planes there, too. Uh, but they were back into... They couldn't do anything but turtle mode. Uh, Anzac was uh, finally getting ready to recover... Some of the money islands out here as well. I'm sorry, Caroline Islands, at which point then they could spread out and take the rest of everything. Philippines, uh, kill the complex in Kiangsu. So it was a great game, great game. We made it through five and a half rounds, or four and a half rounds, I guess. So uh, it was good. It was good. Fun time. Laughed our butts off. 
cussed at each other, cussed at the dice. Uh, as, uh, as my playing partners know, it started off the same way that the previous weekend did. I couldn't hit dick. I'm going to use that word from now on because that's what hand grenade uses, dick. <laughs> great time, great time. Glad you came, brother. Glad, glad you glad came, man. You. It's your turn. Okay, so, yeah, so what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Japan here. Like, uh, the, the defense of Japan, I actually set it up pretty good. Um, I could last there without him being able to do an amphibious assault for a while. Um, that was doing good there. It's just everywhere else, like... Losing eight planes, that, that, that doesn't include the two bombers, but just uh, just shit-ass luck rolling. Um, it, like the rolling was going one way, it was for me, and then boom, it just turned all of a sudden, and it turned hard, right? So it wasn't just uh, the, the Italians anymore. Um, where it really turned around, like this, this is still not too bad over here, you know, c considering. Uh, Germany was supposed to break through in Russia, and that's where I was supposed to win the game, right? Like, these guys weren't doing that good over here. But it was what happened right here in Ukraine. Like, this one battle here turned the whole tide of the game. Um, I had a ton of stuff there. Like, I had eight tanks and a bunch of other shit. And he came in, and you look at, you see what he's got left there. Like, it was it was almost even when, uh, when he started that battle. And, and so... When the battle ended, like you could see how much more units that he had than me, and so there was nothing I could do. Um, beyond that, I mean, um, Germany would have had more units, and Russia was knocking on his back door over here. So, like, uh, I was on track to get Moscow, but it just didn't happen because of that one battle right there. And the Italians, you can see the Italians are still pretty strong. Like, I can hold out in Europe uh, quite a while here. Um, it's, it sounds like a, it was a quick game, but it's not. Like, uh, a lot of people would continue playing this game, but uh, Cowboy and I are both uh, uh, very experienced players, so we just know. Like, we look at this and we say, you know what, uh, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, and this is going to happen, and so these guys are going to win. We both agreed, and we shook hands. Like, there's no sense in keeping it going. I know I'm going to be playing a shit ton over the next few days over at Historical Board Gaming, so I've had enough. Uh, I had a great time, and there's no sense in, in dragging it out for him and for me um, because the writing's on the wall. Uh, uh, I, there's no scenario that I can see where I can win on either side of the board. You know, like if Germany could win, uh, but they were losing over here, then I'd still try that, right? Or vice versa, if Japan could win over here and Germany was sunk, then I'd still try that. But with me losing on both sides of the board, there was just no scenario in which I could have won this game. Um, unless I did take him out back there and, and, uh, <laughs> and rub his nose in it. <laughs> and then come back in. Well, I guess I probably would have had to drown him. And then me do the, 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 uh, the rolling for the rest of the game. Oh, you missed again. That sucks. <laughs> Anyway, it was a great game though. It's really fun playing somebody that you haven't played before because uh, they do things that you've never seen before, right? And so that was fun. There was a couple of moves that I'd seen that I hadn't seen before um, because I'd never, I'd never even met him before. I'd never even seen him play. But I really uh, appreciated him inviting me here. Um, he, when, when I said on my channel that I was coming down to Tulsa, he, he got a hold of me right away. He said, hey, you gotta come over here. I'll pick you up. We'll come over. I got a bed for you. We'll play a game, and uh, you know I'm I'm always up for that. If anybody like if anybody else knows I'm flying anywhere or something, then by all means, uh, give me a call and I'll come by your place if if it's possible, right? Like it might not be possible with what I'm doing and where I'm traveling and things like that. But I really appreciate the hospitality. Uh, his wife made us a great dinner tonight. That was awesome, and uh, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our evening here. So. Gunfight at the OK Corral is over. The bad guys lost. Great fun. Great fun. Glad you came, man. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade and VK Cowboy, out. <laughs>